guys and welcome to the Zone of Tech, this is Daniel and today I'm going to compare the iPad 3's Retina display with uh, the normal screen found uh, in the iPad 2. So for those of you who don't know what the Retina display is, it's basically a really really high resolution display uh, that's found in the new iPad 3 and also the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S. Now Apple managed to cram a massive amount of pixels in your iPad 3. So the resolution of the iPad 3 is 2048 by 1536. That's even higher than your full HD TV. So imagine your full HD TV being crammed in a 9.7 inch uh, display. Okay, so taking a look at the iPads, on the left I have an iPad 2 with a resolution of 1024 by uh, 768 which translates to about 132 ppi or pixels per inch. And on the right side I have an iPad 3 or a new iPad with a retina display uh, with a resolution of 2048 by 1536 which uh, translates to about 264 pixels per inch. So as you can see the iPad 3 has four times the resolution on the iPad 2 and also the ppi has been doubled. Okay, now taking a look at the icons, uh, you now have an iPad 2 in front of you. So as you can see the music icon is kind of pixelated, you can definitely see the pixels. And here on the iPad 3, there's no pixelation at all. So back to the iPad 2, pixelated. And the iPad 3, no pixels at all. Now I'm going to show you this again with some uh, more uh, close-up videos. So this is the uh, iPad 2 music icon on the iPad 2. As you can see the diagonal line is kind of pixelated and when you move to the iPad 3 there is no pixelation at all. So the iPad 3 no pixelation. The iPad 2 a lot of pixelation. Now I know that you cannot see on the video but believe me there's a, a lot of pixelation on the iPad 2. Okay so taking a look at the folders you're now looking at an iPad 2 and uh, I don't know if you can see from the video but the icons inside the folder are uh, really really hard to distinguish while on the iPad 3 you can clearly see the icons inside a folder you can even read uh, the text on the icons and you can even see the shadows of the icons, which is amazing. I'm going to show you some text because uh, this is where the retina display of the iPad 3 stands out from the crowd. So uh, this is an iPad 2, as you can see it's uh, pixelated, you can see the pixels, while on the iPad 3 you cannot see any pixels at all. The same goes for uh, the lock screen icon, so on the iPad 2, as you can see it's really really pixelated. But when you take a look at uh, the iPad 3 screen, there's no pixelation at all. Okay, now let's do a Safari test. So I've launched the Apple Store on uh, both iPads. So again, the iPad 2 is on the left and the iPad 3 is on the right. Now when you take a look at a small text, this is the iPad 2, you can see that it's really, really pixelated and uh, really hard to read, but on the iPad 3, there's no pixelation at all, you can clearly see the text, read it, understand it, so the difference is huge. This is how they look like when uh, they're side by side. So the iPad 2 is on the left and it's really, really pixelated, while the iPad 3 is on the right and uh, you cannot see any pixels at all. Now if you zoom out the web page as uh, further as you can, you will see that you cannot read any text at all on the iPad 2 because the text is so pixelated and so small. Now while doing the same thing on the iPad 3 you will notice that the text is perfectly readable. Here you go. So you can read the text on the iPad 3 while on the iPad 2 you cannot read it at all. And believe me, the camera was in focus, but the text is too small on the iPad 2. It's uh, just not readable. While on the iPad 3, as you can see again, it's perfectly readable. Now, uh, 
taking a look at a really, really close up image of uh, the Safari icon, you can definitely see the pixels on uh, the iPad 2, which is on the left. And of course, that you can also see them on the iPad 3, which is on the right, but uh, they are a lot smaller than uh, on the iPad 2. So as you can see in Apple's video, each pixel has uh, three subpixels, so red, green, and blue. And uh, by quadrupling the amount of pixels on the screen, they also had to quadruple the amount of subpixel found in each pixel. So this is really, really hard to achieve. And the way they did it is that they raised uh, two subpixels, as you can see in the video. So basically, if the subpixels are situated at different heights, then uh, it's possible to make a retina display this huge. Because, you know, Apple had previous retina displays with uh, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, the uh, iPod Touch 4. But uh, those screens were really small compared to the iPads. So uh, this is how they made it possible. This is how they uh, engineered uh, the retina display. And although you think you've seen the retina display in this video, <laughs> you're wrong, you haven't. Because in reality, the retina display is a billion times more amazing than uh, in this video. So just go to your local Apple store and uh, check the iPad 3. Just see with your own eyes how amazing the retina display actually is. So thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to leave me a comment. I will answer all of your comments. Then like this video if you liked it. Also be sure to favorite this video and also subscribe to my channel because uh, I will uh, be posting more videos in the upcoming days. So uh, as always.